Hi everyone, welcome to my channel. The reason I'm making this video today is there are people asking will our property prices hold? With the ongoing COVID-19 outbreak, some say the virus is going to crash the property market. I will wait for the prices to fall. With this virus, the price will drop. Well, I agree the Singapore definitely will not be spared from this outbreak as well. Will our supply chain be affected? And our minister had said earlier on that we may enter into a possible recession for the coming quarters. But there was a news uh, reported a day ago that there was an increase with foreigners buying our new homes in January last month. And it was up by 14% from the previous month. And 41% sold from a year ago, which marked the highest January sale in seven years. And this happened in the month of COVID-19 outbreak. So, firstly, let's understand foreigners who are buying a property in Singapore. They have to pay an additional 20% buyer stamp duty, ABSD, more than a Singaporean. Which means, if a property purchased at $2 million, the buyer would have to pay an additional $400,000 extra, which will be easily sum up to $2.4 million in total. Now, the article reported more foreigners are buying property in Singapore, especially in core central region. Well, this could be a sign telling us that the buyers or investors from around the world are confident with our Singapore market and our properties are more resilient comparing with other nations in Asia especially. Even though they have to pay an additional 20% more, but they still willingly to do so. Probably, they have found that it is much safer here to place their money and to buy a property in Singapore. Leverage on our strong currency and our good governance always thinking beyond the crisis and to better this outbreak. Secondly, we have yet to witness a tweak on the cooling measure that was implemented years ago, like the loan to value, 75%, ABSD, and the developer ABSD for unsold units which means that these measures are still in place to stay vigilant for the property market in Singapore. Beside our property market, however, our economy may take a hit as mentioned earlier on. But recently, China had injected billions of dollars into their financial sector. And some are questioning, um, oh, why are they doing this now while fighting this virus? So to understand this, most countries in the world today are well connected with China, including Singapore. So they did it to stabilize the economy and to prevent from a fallout. Because if they did not do so, we, we may have already experienced a far more worse than just a recession. Because it will be a ripple effect that will affect every country beside the virus. I think we are thankful that China is doing their best not only to contain the virus within, but also help to avoid the world from entering into a global financial crisis. Lastly, property can be a home or an investment, but for most people, houses is one of the essential needs for people as a home to stay and to live in. Certainly, there are some owners and buyers are avoiding to conduct any viewings during this time. But there are people still going for the viewings. And those who go for the viewing during this period will seriously want to buy or sell their homes. So, is it a crisis or a great opportunity ahead? You decide. So, this comes to the end of the video. Do leave a comment below. I would love to hear your thoughts. And I'll see you the next time. As always, stay safe, take care.